Penelope, she's just your typical average all-American girl. Oh no, Penelope, watch out. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> well, I am crying. <laughs> no, Billy, you're participating in the act of transport of molecules out of your cells and bodies. What? You see, Penelope, every time you cry, you are actively transporting your tears out of your body. Well, gee, gosh, golly, willikers! I never knew my crying did all that. How does my crying do all that? Through a po process called exocytosis. During protein production by the cell, secretory proteins exit the cell in transport vesicles that fuse with the plasma membrane, spilling the contents outside the cell. You see, Penelope, when you cry, cells in your tear glands use exocytosis to export your salty tears. What if materials want to get into the cell? Well, there is also a process called endocytosis. Endocytosis takes material into the cell within vesicles that bud inward from the plasma membrane. <gasps> there are actually three types of endocytosis. Three types of endocytosis?! Get out of here. Okay. Sure, let me show you. First, there is phagocytosis, or cellular eating. There is also penocytosis, or cellular drinking. A cell takes in fluid by forming tiny vesicles. So, does it just take in whatever it feels like? Well, sort of. You see, because any and all solutes dissolved in the droplet will be taken into the cell, penocytosis is unspecific in the substances it transports. However, the third and final type of endocytosis is receptor-mediated endocytosis. It is triggered by the binding of external molecules to specific receptor proteins built into the plasma membrane. So receptor-mediated endocytosis is specific? That's right, Penelope. That binding causes the membrane protein to transport the specific substance into the cell. Oh no! Look out, Penelope! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm exocytosising!